day. So I'm halfway through my first run in the morning. Feeling pretty good so far. Uh, I think it's gonna be interesting. I've not done anywhere near this distance in a very long time. So I'm quite looking forward to just getting in, seeing what happens. And probably like the rest of you, just seeing how the body feels after so long. Okay, so heading out on run two. I think like most of you, my legs feel pretty obliterated. Just have to wait for them to come back. Oh, getting warm already. Now, I've only really just worked my way back up to 5k. So, off a run and a bike, it's gonna be tough. We'll get through. Let's go. Now I already have to feel that temptation to just go way too hard at the gate when actually we really need to rein it in. Like, I think the hardest thing I've found getting back into running has been about controlling that pace, kind of learning to settle, and just rather than trying to just sprint. So try and settle in, see if we can get down to a more comfortable pace get faster towards the end. So that's Thorpe Open Port Swim, who will be just finishing up over there. In fact, I can see a few swimmers coming around now. All right, that's my turn point hit. Back home for the five now. So halfway, I'm extend to ease off a bit. Pace feels better, back feels better. I actually feel like I can run again, which is good because the last few runs I've had have been actually half decent. Today was feeling really tough, but actually it's, it's getting better the more I just settle back and go with it. My 5k done as usual. The last 500 meters is the only bit that feels any good. The rest of it after shite. But at least we're done. Right, full debrief in a minute. Can you come around, Eli? What am I doing? Thank you very much.
Hello, Hedgehog. And Hello, Hedgehog. Who is it? Captain Hedgehog. Hello, Hedgehog. Hello, Hedgehog. Captain Hedgehog. Can I have my Hedgehog back? Yes. Okay. So, race one done. Uh, that was tough, really tough. Uh, first run felt fine, like the two and a half k. Got into the bike, and I, I just, I think I trained too much yesterday, too many sore muscles. That felt really tough. And then, uh, yeah, third run, just first half. I mean, I, I remember from like doing stuff before that first bit of the second run, which really hurts, but it hurt more than I remember, and I think it hurts more than it should. So this is where it gets really interesting now. So. We've got one of these lockdown duathlons at the end of every month. So we've got the first one is coming up, was now at the end of May. The second one uh, is going to be end of June, then end of July and end of August. So you've got a really nice chance to benchmark now your performance each month. You'll accumulate points as you go based on your ranking within. You've got a chance to move up in the rankings or if it's really moved down if you obviously don't train. So we need to take a really good look at how we all train, how you prepare and give you something to focus on when there's no real racing taking part. Um, loads and loads of results all coming in. Uh, another one's just coming. Um, questions coming in, is it all right to ride on a tow boat but not swift? Yes, that's fine. We just need to make sure we got the log file. Um, and we're going to try and pick up all those FAQs between now and the next one. Um, but generally speaking, it all seems to have gone well. You've all got the grasp of it, other than a couple of people who've just marked up their distances or not read the information properly. Read the information. So, how are we going to move on between now and the next one in June? How are you going to shape your training? So, I think the first thing you can do, as I said on the run, is just look at your limiters. So, uh, the limiter will always be pretty much the second run. Um, were you super stiff coming off the bike, struggling to loosen up, in which case looking at your mobility is going to be an easy win. Um, so that's a really good first step. Um, was it lack of conditioning? You just couldn't go any faster, then working on more conditioning work is going to be a good way to do it. Or nutrition, was that part of the problem? Were you just you know, running out of energy in that final run, in which case you need to look at taking on carbohydrates sooner. Um, and early on in that first run and during the bike. Um, I had a bottle of uh, our energy fuel on the bike. Um, worked perfectly for me. Um, so that was sort of 45 grams of carbs uh, through the bike, which easily sets up then that final kind of sprint run. Yeah, so I'd have a look. Have a look at your runs. Have a look at what you think your limiters were. I'm going to post some tips down in the comments below. Um, and some links on where you can look at tackling those issues, whether it be mobility, nutrition, or conditioning. Um, one of the things I'm gonna do is post out to you guys some sets as well, so that over the next three, four weeks, these are gonna be the sets I'm gonna be doing. Um, you can scale them up or scale them down, and you can use them to try and improve on your, you know, duathlon time over that period. Then four weeks time, we can go again and we can re-benchmark and look at what we need to work on over the next four weeks. So I think that's going to be a really nice addition to the series, um, the fact that we've got that concurrent. Um, I'm going to try and find some ways for you guys all to get to know each other a bit better um, and who's taking part, be that maybe using our Strava group or maybe using our Facebook groups. Uh, and I think we'll go from there. Perfect. Thanks for joining us on the first one. Um, thanks for taking part. It's been really good. I, we dropped it on you guys a, a week or two's notice. I wasn't expecting so many of you to sign up and we've still got people signing up now on the Sunday um, and already signing up for next month. So uh, I think we're going to see this nicely grow. Uh, the intention is to run it through the first four week series, but will likely lead straight into then a winter series because that will take us up to end of August and then it'll be September, October, November, December. Ooh, last weekend in December. That'd be a nice time for a duathlon. Um, so, and then we can probably lead it into a spring series as well. So the idea will be just to keep this rolling um, and give ourselves like a really nice benchmark every month, which will be spot on. Um, we did expand it so you can complete it either on the Saturday or the Sunday at any time. Um, so all those results need to be just in with me by midnight tonight or midnight on Sunday. Um, thank you very much. Talk to you soon.